Hello, sir. The biggest sporting event in the world, Jason. Okay, uh, great. The World Game. Okay, sir, and make the governing body amazing. Corrupt. Pardon? Money laundering. What? Why a fraud? Sir, no. Bribery. What? No. <laughs> Shut up, Jason. And make the host nation perfect. Have human rights issues. Sorry? You heard me, Jason. Well, how did they get to be the host nation, sir? Corruption. No. And bribery. Okay, okay, I heard you the first time. Or maybe it was just this time that the host nation is a, is a little contentious. <laughs> no, Jason. What are you, stupid? <laughs> Plenty of times it's happened. Ha! Okay, well obviously they're hosting it there because the host nation is really good at football. <laughs> no, Jason! Okay, t tell me about the tournament. How does that work? Make countries have to qualify for the World Cup. Okay, and we'll make four times World Cup champions Italy qualify. <laughs> No, Jason, what are you stupid? No way. Oh, I just... 32 teams are in the World Cup playoffs, Jason. They all get split into groups and then they all play each other and the top teams from all the groups go into the next final and the next final and then they all eventually knock each other out until there's two teams left. Okay. Who play off for the World Cup. <laughs> right, simple. And Jason, make England sing It's coming home, it's coming home 4.8 million times over the next couple of weeks. Oh, okay, and does it come home? <laughs> no, Jason, what are you, stupid? It's purely for the entertainment for the rest of the world as they sing the song over and over and then it doesn't come home and then everyone else laughs. That's a bit mean, what else? Extra time. Uh... Make every game ever in the history of football only have on average a couple of minutes of extra time after the first half and the second half. Oh, okay, and in the World Cup we'll do exactly that. <laughs> no, Jason! Triple it! Wait, what? Make it ten times the normal amount, Jason! <laughs> Why? Is that because there's lots of injuries, sir? Jason, Jason, Jason. Extra time should actually be enforced this way in all other games of football because on average the game goes for 90 minutes but they actually play about 55 minutes because of all of the whinging at the referee, the falling over, the acting when they're falling over and then the more whinging at the referee at, because the referee didn't buy the acting they did when they fell over. Oh, and the game celebration celebrations that go on for way too long. Oh, and the times where the ball goes out and they lose the ball, so they've got to get another ball from the guy on the side who gives them the extra balls. Right. And the setting up of the free kicks and the penalties that take forever. So it actually results in about 50 to 60 minutes of actual game time. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, and Jason, I forgot the moment where the star player who's played quite well for the game gets substituted off in the final like quarter of the game. And then instead of just like strolling off the field quite briskly, they take about 17 minutes to dawdle across the field and just saluting the audience and saying oh yeah I know I've played pretty good okay sir you've made your point I think that's enough colorful rainbow armbands uh what about them sir if you want to wear one you'll get a yellow card what no but that's in support of shut up Jason you heard me okay and you just have to make a decision on beer sir let beer be sold in stadiums Jason oh okay great but not at the World Cup what? No, what? Hang on. Put all the beer that would have been sold in the stadiums in a warehouse and then give it to the nation who wins the World Cup, Jason. Oh, wow, that's a lot of beer. <laughs> I hope Australia win. <laughs> then we'll get all that good beer. It's Budweiser. Oh, never mind. We weren't going to win anyway. Shut up, Jason. It's about to start. i got to go. Okay, sir, bye. 14 minutes of extra time. <laughs>